Welcome! In this video, I shall show you how to make a Connect4 game in PowerPoint that can be used for educational matters in your classroom. If the first student chooses F4, they first have to answer this question and if they get it right, they can go back to this board and put their color coin over here. The next student, they can say, hey, I want to go F5. They answer this question and if they get it wrong, it shows the red color but as a teacher you can always give them a second chance and if they get it right they can then make their circle red all you have to do is click once for yellow and click twice for red so let us learn how to make this in powerpoint hit the like button and the subscribe button and we shall get started let us start by having a blank layout in the first slide of our PowerPoint. Now choose a rectangle shape and insert it over here. This will be the background of our game. Change the color of this rectangle to navy blue and make sure that you align this to the center. Now we need to insert circles over here. To do that, choose the oval shape, hold shift on your keyboard so that you get a perfect circle. Change the color of this circle to white and make sure that it has no outline. Now we need to duplicate the circle. To do that, hold Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and drag the shape. So this is a quick click on duplicating shapes in PowerPoint. In the new shape, make sure that its color is yellow. Duplicate the shape once more with the click that you just learned and make the color of the new circle red. Now go to selection pane over here. Let us rename our circles. If I click on oval 4, it is my white circle. So I'm changing that to white. Oval 5 is yellow. So I'm double clicking over here and I can change this to yellow. I'm double clicking oval 6 and this can be changed to that color. Perfect. Now we need to do our animations. Let me close my selection pane. I select the yellow circle. I go to animations and I choose the animation fly in. In the effect options, make sure it is from the top. Now the yellow color circle must come down when the white color circle is clicked. So I click on the yellow color circle, I go to trigger animation, on click off, white. So in the animation pane, you can see that the yellow animation occurs when the white color shape is clicked. Similarly, the red color animation should occur when the yellow color shape is clicked. So click on the red color circle, add animation, appear. And this should appear on the click of yellow. And at the end, both these circles should disappear when the red color circle is clicked. So select your red circle, hold shift on your keyboard and select the yellow circle. In add animation, choose disappear on click of red. Perfect. Now hold your yellow circle Hold shift on your keyboard and place it within the white circle. Do the same for the red circle while holding shift on your keyboard. The reason for holding shift is if you just move it, it goes everywhere. If you hold shift, it goes in the same alignment. Now we can go to slideshow mode and test this out. I click on the white circle, the yellow comes in. I click on yellow, it becomes red. I click on red. It disappears. Isn't that perfect? Now, select this. So all the three circles are selected. Hold Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and duplicate it. Start doing this and have seven different circles in the bottom. Now select all these circles, hold Ctrl Shift and duplicate it. We need to make sure that we have six different rows. We can also change the background color. 
Now what we need to do is that we need to mark our axis. So I'm going to take this shape and write A over here and change the color to white. So let us make text boxes like these so we can play multiplayer with more ease. Let me show you how this is going to assist you once I complete making it. Alright and now it is time to play a game. Go to slideshow mode and as the first player I can say hey I choose F4 and the yellow circle comes down and the second player can say F3. I click once it is yellow I click twice it becomes red. And then I can say, all right, I want E4. And I click on it, but I accidentally make it red. Not an issue. You can click here, reset, and put the yellow circle once more. All of this is fun and games, but how do you make the kids interact in the classroom with you? What we are going to do is that we are going to make question slides. And we are going to have a small circle within each circle, which is going to take you to the question slide. So let me give you an example. I make a new slide. I change the background color to navy blue to match the aesthetic. And I choose this rectangle shape with rounded corners. And I draw it over here. Change the color to white. And no outline. And I can type my question here. What is 1 plus 1? And change the text fill to black. Similarly, I can press Ctrl Shift on my keyboard and drag these shapes. And these can be my answer boxes. The correct answer can be 2. As you can see, I was able to make all these options very quickly by just pressing Ctrl Shift and duplicating the shape. Let me put some incorrect options. And now, I'm going to add one more shape over here. And that will say home. Now select the home shape, go to insert, actions, hyperlink to, and here you have to choose the first slide. So after we answer the question and we click on home, it will take us to the first slide. Similarly, we need to make the smaller circles that will take us to slide number two. So go to slide one, go to home, Click on the circle shape and draw it over here. Now, I am going to keep this a light gray color with no outline. Now, select the new shape. Go to insert, actions, hyperlink to, slide dot dot dot, and choose the second slide. Click on OK and OK. One more thing that we can do is, we can make these shapes clickable. So 2 is my correct answer. So when I click on 2, it should become green color. To do that, go to animations, add animation, and choose fill color. And over here, I can change it to a light green color. And let's use the duration to half a second. In the animation pane, if I keep my mouse over here, I learned that the name of this shape is Rectangle Rounded Corners 2. So I click on Trigger Animation on click off Rectangle Rounded Corners 2. Now, if I go to Slideshow Mood and click on 2, you see that it becomes green in color. Now we need to do the same with all these shapes but for that color. So click on 2, Animation Painter and click on 0. Now this becomes green, but we need to change this to the red color. Similarly, click on Animation Painter while the new shape is selected and click on 1. Again, click on Animation Painter and click on 11. So all the shapes have their respective color changes to indicate whether the answer is correct or wrong. Now, we can duplicate the question slide and we can put a new question. Now, if you want to move the correct answer somewhere else, you can easily just change the positions of your answer boxes and you'll be good to go. Now, go to slide number one. You see this gray color shape, right? Now, select the gray circle, press Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and drag it over here. 
Now similarly do this for all the different circles and then you just have to change the hyperlink to the corresponding question. This will be slide number two and this will be slide number three. Slide number three. So make sure you change the hyperlink four, five, six and so forth and so on by duplicating all the slides. I have this game available for download at my website pptvba.com. If you like the video, please hit the like button as it helps out greatly with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I also do freelancing work and my email is this. Thank you and have a splendid day.